Welcome to another episode of Cooking Wild. My boy Yan. And today we're in Tobago once again. Uh, the last episode, or the last time we were here for Cooking Wild in Tobago, they say you know, they have representation from all over. So we're in Lands for me, the northern side of Tobago, and we're meeting Sharp. Sharp. Welcome, man. Yes. Welcome to hey, listen, all your hospitality here, the food. Amazing. The people so humble. Good vibes. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Here, last time we last time we were here, we meet we met Ozzy. Mm-hmm. Ozzy carried us up into the forest, a slide downhill, real back and yeah. Today we are first. Well, we are here to do a nice little hunting expedition today. Mm-hmm. Only what we going to look for here today is a goatee. Okay, a goatee. Uh, yeah, we don't have much wildlife species on the island. Right. You know, so uh, the animal more or less is a goatee. Mm-hmm. Um, we have armadillo and stuff, but we hunt them here mainly in the night. In the night, in the night. Yeah. Tell me about that one in the night. Right. I mean, I have some questions to ask you about the animals that were here before. What we can do to fix it, all that kind of stuff. But when we head up the hill, we go talk about that. Right, no yeah. Problem. So with the dogs, with the dogs, I ain't seen the dogs. dogs right nice, nice. Yeah. What kind of dogs are these? Yeah, these is blood hungry. Oh, oh. They're looking uh, serious. Foxong, um, I find it. I find that kind of tall. Yeah. They kind of tall. Foxong species are dogs that grows very tall. And listen, last time we had to wait for dogs to come back. We had a problem now. Uh, hopefully not. Oh, okay, alright, alright, because, because yeah. listen, when we in the bush there, they have nothing to do but wait. But wait, yeah, but see, see sometimes the dogs and they have a mind of their owner. Right. And then they have a job to do. Okay. So they just try to do it as efficient as they could. So even if they happen to lose the animal, yeah. sometimes it could take a while searching back to find the animal. And that is where the hunters are trying to wait. Oh, and have and well, and well, and well, this is what make the dogs great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, let me get ready. Let me get the action. Hey, it's cooking wild. Sharp, Yan, the crew. We ready to hit the hills. Let me do it. Already start to go uphill, and y'all don't understand or y'all don't see, but the distance and the pressure we decide to go through to at least start the hunt. <laughs> I can't even explain it. Yeah, there you go. Yay! But I see the dogs. You let them run. Mm-hmm. You ain't afraid to eat the goody. We're going. No, well, um. I have a particular dog here. Mm-hmm. Not everybody fortunate to have such luck. <laughs> right. Once them dog and them hold on the goatee, yeah. he does take it, put your foot on it, and call until I come and he back off. What? What kind of bad man dog is yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> That's that dog. Wait. And, and, and actually, his name is Donald Trump. No, hey, oh gosh, nah man, nah man, nah man. Where did you go with that? Where did you go? Well, to make hunting better. Well, well, Trump. I call him Trump, so yeah. he, he, he like he living up to his name. Nice, nah, he's nice. He dominated it. He dominated. These my dogs and they when they um pen our goatee, right. they don't stray away. They will call until I get to the hole yeah. and they will hang around until I take out the meat. Wow. They wouldn't just put up a goatee and then go and raise our other one now. They won't do that. A real they training. Will, yeah, they will call pen. Yeah. And but who called it in the forest? Get, uh, one thing we get some reception yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, we get yeah. some good reception here. Yeah, for that. Yeah, tell them just now. Just tell them yeah. just now. <laughs> let's, let's, let's press that in. Yeah. Nice. All you cool all yourself. Don't yeah. be calling, listen. <laughs> they cooking wild. We're not really supposed to have any sort of technology, but we are cameras. But anyway, right? They'll be calling sharp when we're on TV. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we coming back. If we come back out, think the dogs running, just just f- to see. Mm-hmm. We can leave the dogs. Yeah, yeah. Because um I not too far, I, I don't live too far from here. Right. So basically the dogs also don't live too far from here. So they know so home. Some is. of them will find home. Oh. But in case they don't find home, what I will normally do, I will take off my jersey mm-hmm. and leave it somewhere just off the road. 
And by this afternoon, by nightfall, everybody will come and lie down right there. Okay, now, so, hey! So I just come back and. <laughs> Sharp, you had a train men dog, boy. You had a train <laughs> men dog. I just come back you had a train men dog. Yeah. All right, well, let me listen, let me listen and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah we're waiting patience. Yeah. Mm. Now there is another aspect of the hunting that we haven't touched in the earlier segments and this is the economic impact of hunting. Recognize that we mine thousands of hunting dogs and most of the sellers of, of dog chow in Trinidad love the hunters because we buy truckloads of dog chow. The guys that sell ammunition, the guys that sell hunting gear, the guys that sell firearms, all of these make a living off the hunting and it is a legitimate hunt. And there are the professional hunters who live purely and only and solely by hunting wildlife. It is very lucrative because wildlife at the marketplace pulls in a lot more than any other meat or fish that you want to think about. It is very, very highly prized and people take advantage because that's where he makes his living. That's where he sends his children to school. That's where he buys the taxi for his son to drive and that's where he builds his house. It may take him years to build a house, but if you go into the rural areas and ask in any village, who is he wild, who sell the wild meat here? They tell you, look for the big house down in the corner. You see, when you go by the junction, the big, big house, that is the fellow that's selling the wild meat. They live well off it, and we have to recognize this and recognize that it is mainly legitimate economic enterprise. That guy could be out there with a nine millimeter terrorizing people, but no, he goes with his little mongrels as into the forest and makes a living and builds a life for his family. There are people who say, stop that. They cannot offer a replacement enterprise. They cannot offer a replacement activity and tell the fella, stop hunting, right? I'm going to show you how to make a living outside of that. It does not happen. It will not happen. And this has to continue. to hunting, hunters in Trinidad have a wide selection. In Tobago, that's a different story. Hunters in Tobago mainly focus on wild hog, agouti and tattoo. On top of that, deers are protected in Tobago and no licenses are issued for the hunting of deer. Quick side note, lap, there's none in Tobago. So guys, you'll have to come to Trinidad for that one. This has been Quick Facts, watch yourself. Now Sharp, I know what's the survival techniques and I hear about the myth of a water vine. You tell me it have here, this is, this is one of them? Yes, actually this is one of the water vines that if you run out of water in the forest and you're thirsty, mm -hmm. that you could cut and get water. You see I cut the vine here yeah. and there's no water actually running from the vine. Right. Right? But if you cut it again and actually hold piece in your hand, you'll see it starts springing water. Right? Sweet. So mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is just one of the vine. There are two. Right? And this is just one of them. How it's so sweet? Well, it's rainwater. Oh. <laughs> with that, with that. It's almost like coconut water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of the vine that you can get water. If you happen to be in the forest and you're thirsty. Alright, man. Okay. <laughs> you learn something here? Look at wild. It's like a chopper. A little thirsty. You're still a little thirsty. Let me see if I can cut a little piece here. Yeah. Mm. And in a sharp work, God bless me. What is this? Hey, watch yourself. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> this real dollars. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, get one from sharp. <laughs> you see that? You see when the guy got cut last, what has happened? Let's see what's going on here. Kind of fizzing like where you saw a drink. Yeah, yeah, make a noise. And you don't waste all the water too from you cut it all at the friend cut. <laughs> <laughs> so we 
take a seat we actually make a seat yeah, yeah. um and we would you know having discussions as we walk in up the hill and that kind of thing i was saying that you know what about getting new animals in tobago you know there's so much lush forest you know there are the animals that we don't see anymore like there yes i they, they, they basically kind of hunt out those i think the time is right now for probably um tha to be also of assembly to try to assist in reintroducing some wildlife right. species on the island and also introducing probably some new one i think it have good forest say a nice river yeah. area that um, could accommodate like the lap yeah and make it flourish and make it flourish yeah. um so you don't get lap here no we do have lap here wow no and they will love here and they will we love do here. have a lap we do not have porcupine we don't have anteater yeah, yeah, so yeah a couple of species well we do have capybara but it's okay we don't really want capybara <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do without that one well i mean this Maybe is a extinct. that's a great appeal i mean if yeah. y'all are listening which y'all would be because i mean there's the best show ever yeah. i mean there's this cooking wild you know um the briefest cameraman and host <laughs> in the region today yeah. um but on a serious serious note i mean it's a really good idea mm -hmm. you know um this is exactly why cooking wild is the show that you know we, we wanted to, to bring to the public mm -hmm. to show them what the hunter is what he does in order to get wild meat and not only that to preserve the forest as well it's about preserving and i mean time, yeah. i mean this is this is it but let me listen yeah let me, let me, let me wait let me chill i mean should i bring some juice but yeah <laughs> some beers yeah but some beers some beers <laughs> hey that's some slippery stone here boy Yeah. Yeah. telling yourself. <coughs> Ow. Get some answer in the level. Sure. Yeah. Like the dogs and them stuff are going on, and right. then I hear a bark after that cut off right. it could be either one out or two things they lost the meat and they're looking back for it, yeah. or they pen it. Okay, so all we had to do now is listen. All right, all right, all right. I mean, they pen it. All right, well, let me move right, in. So let me go and see what's going on. <laughs> let me go in. It seems like a penalty. Well, what's going on here now? They pen the agouti in this tree, right? Right. So, what we have to do here now is assess the hole and the conditions of the hole. You have to look for like back hole. Right. You have to try to determine where the goatee enter the tree. And you have to look for like a back hole. Where yeah, just in case it might, you know. You might try to escape whilst you're trying to take it out. Right. Right? So, now I will do an assessment to try to figure out where the goatee class to go in. Now, I see that hole here. Right. Right? So first, first look, my first observation, this could be where you go to enter. Right. Right? But, still need, I still need to go around the tree. Right? So, what going on here now? To the back of the tree here. Yeah. You can have a next hole. Yeah, so plug that up. I've got to plug that. Right. That way now, the goatee can't pass out here and escape. Right? Listen, cooking wilders. You see where this goatee is going? It's perched on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. It's just going down, it's going to be crazy. Now that I do my survey, we right. only have one hole behind it. Very senior. Now if you observe, on top there it have a hole. The tree have a cock up there. Yeah. So I will have a cock that also because you have to jump out there. What? And go. Right? <laughs> well, I could say, yeah. Yeah. This wouldn't be the ah. ideal place that they would like to try to challenge taking out our goose. No, they must say no. Yeah. Yes. But that is how it comes. Yeah. Sometime if it, if uh, that is how we gain it. Sometimes you come in the bush and you will get an easy one. Yeah. Sometimes you meet a difficult one. This year, it will be pretty relatively easy to, to acquire. But based on the fact that you have a crack here and we have to try to get up there to plug that. Yeah. Oh, 
hole. You see what's going on with Sharp right now? He climbing the tree to plug a hole. Ah! <laughs> they can't get realer than this. Okay, so. And it's over a cliff. So from on top here. Right. I'm seeing the Aguti. Oh. oh. But we have to be very careful. It's not difficult for the Aguti to escape from where it is. Right. All right, good. All right, all right, guys. Ease up, ease up. Yeah, I would always say every hunter have different skills. Every hunter different. Right now, sharp, I line it different. Hanging the edge of a cliff to get an agouti. So, the ones you catch on cliff and thing like this, let's go up by one. Every arm. Um, Same price as the one that you do catch on cliff. Only <laughs> <laughs> well, real nice one. Because right now, I will see my price raising. See him? See what's going on here now? Because of how I take out the good tea and the scent emanating more. The dogs and them going crazy because yeah. they're actually smelling the good tea. Right? Right, they, they smell it stronger but they do have a clue where it is but they will have the eye on me because they know they are accustomed that when we in the bush and the pen, that I is the person that have the good tea. So you see how they start coming around me? Well, some craziness is going to happen here now. Right? So if you could just go back up and give me a little space because I could end up down in the gully. Right? So you need it in your hand too. Yeah, I have it here. Well, having it is one thing and taking it out is our next. Right? So I will care too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah because yeah. the dog could get damaged. Yeah, so yeah. My word, let's see what's going on here. Cooking wild is real. I now see a dog backflip to bite her booty. Whoa. And all the few days again. <laughs> it's real as it gets. We're deep in the forest, hours trekking just to get one booty. It's not a game. Sharp is a boss. Long to cook. It does take long to cook, sometimes all four hours. Nah, man, don't do that. Yeah, them big, big goody. Yeah. take all four hours to cook. Four hours? Yeah. Mm. Take as much as, as four hours to cook. But see, like you had this in a kind of pressure cooker here. Yeah. yeah, this one will cook for yourself. <laughs> that's, that's better news on our half. Yeah. Cool, that's looking good, bro. All right. Jeez, on Christmas trees. <laughs> oh, yes. Grass. You're this, isn't it? Yeah. You sure? Yan, the boy. I hear my name. Yan. Mm -hmm. Thing almost finished. The gravy gone down. You know? I see what going so on. So you don't know what's going on. It's time, it's time to, to munch a goatee and 
Ah, oh, lot of blue food to go with it. Blue food. Scunter say, bush meat and blue food we eating. <laughs> ah, oh, scunter to see where blue food look like. <laughs> he say it, eh? Not me, Blue scunter, blue. Right, so I'm going to treat them boys now to a nice dish, right? Time for we to eat. See you now, stir in the pot, checking and making sure everything going down nice. Mm -hmm. That is what we're talking about. It's time for play. Yeah. Yes, man. Nice! Sharp! Yeah, man. <coughs> Boy, you can't wait. Yeah, nah, I can't wait, I can't wait. Aye. Blessings, blessings. I see a sprinkle of a little pepper here for me. Yeah, what do you mean? And I'm a ah. favorite beer. Hey! Karim. Hey! Hey, you're a Karim hey. man too? Take a, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Don't no, pop that cup no, one time. Let me pop that cup, ah, boy. Yes. Yeah. Cheers, though. Cheers, yes. Yeah, you must watch like a curry, brother. Yeah, you must yeah. watch your beak. You must watch your beak. Mm, must. And that, that was not yeah. plug for any beer or anything. Yeah, man. Hey, watch yourself. Don't fall. Cameraman, I'm watching with my food in the way. I'm watching my thing in the So, partner, spoons up. Yay. Yeah. Oh, that's a cheers. So, that's a new cheers. After all the hard work today, time for Dread. us to eat. Let me tell you something. Mm. Before we buy our food here, I, I want to tell you thanks because the skill I see today. Yeah. I wasn't sharing with nobody. This, this that, that good, you know. Yeah. It's on the edge, you know. Go on. Listen. The lemongrass. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting it. The ginger. I'm mm -hmm. tasting it. Oh my gosh. You have some secrets there. Mm -hmm. I mean, men cook, be it. men cook before. Mm -hmm. Men do a curry stew. Men do. But this, it tastes more stew do um, dominated. Yeah, well, it's the way how we do it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm. Is, is according to how much curry you put into this stew. Okay, so I didn't put too much curry in it. Yeah, to kind of dominate the taste. I wanted it to get the flavor. Mm, well, hey, well, we're achieving it here. Right, good. Well, we're nice achieving it here. But I ain't gonna lie to tell you right now, the, this stew, mm -hmm. I rate it. I don't care what nobody say. I mean, I'm the host. But I rate it, this stew is the best right now. It, it, it getting on. Right. Oh my gosh. Mm. But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. We talk. We went to the forest, we stayed some good hours, we, we, hunt. Co we hunt, we catch your meat, we come back with it, we cook it, and uh, now we enjoying it with a Karim. Hey, hey watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, Sharp is my co host now, Sharp is my co host. Hey, Cooking Wireless, hey, it's all about the show that goes where nobody has gone before. Keep it locked, hey boy, Yan. Enjoying some goody. Yes, I. Mm hmm. You all are accustomed to seeing us in the forest, hunting, coming back, cooking it. But today we're gonna do things a little different. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna.